Today, I'll show you how to do your Newton crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're talking about Newton and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So this is a refresher video. I've made one in the past, but their platform has undergone a bunch of changes and I wanna make sure that the video is up to date. So I'll tell you a little bit about them. Then I'll jump into the very straightforward integration and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources down below for you to check out. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So Newton was founded in 2018 and they're based out of Toronto, Canada. We actually have a really awesome Canada guide, which I will leave down below. I strongly recommend it if you are new to the space and want to learn more about how crypto taxes work in Canada and potentially some ways to save money when it comes to the tax season. Uh, in terms of security, Newton uses Fireblocks, which is a third-party digital asset custodian that holds and secures Newton's customers' cryptocurrency assets. So yeah, that's enough about them. Let's go into the integration part of the video. Okay, so first step as always, log into your Coinline account. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can create one completely free and follow along until the very end. You're gonna click on add wallet and then we're gonna click on, or we're gonna type in Newton. So there it is. As you can see, there's no API option at the moment that could be subject to change at a later date when you're watching this video. But for now, we're gonna do the import from file and I'll show you where to get the CSV file on their platform. So click import from file and let me show you where to get it. Okay, so on their platform, in the top right corner, you're gonna click on settings, and then you're gonna scroll on down and select statements and reports, and then you're gonna click on tax reports, and at the very bottom, you'll see a Coinly tax report, and then from here, just a simple download CSV report, and then you're gonna take that file and drag and drop it into Coinly, and it's as simple as that. So once your information is imported into Coinly, you can head over into the transactions area to see underneath the hood uh, what's going on, making sure everything is sitting right with you. Also making sure that you've tagged some of your staking, you know, send to pool, send from pool. I've made videos on that. If you're interested, definitely check them out on this channel. And then once you're happy with that, go into your tax reports area for one final summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year. And then once you're happy with everything that you see here, you can scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to your accountant and they will combine it with your other tax documentation or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you still have questions, I'll leave a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then we have a forum section if you wanna to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, if all else fails, we have a contact section and you can message us directly and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.